Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Cosmos DB account in Azure using Azure portal. I have logged into my account. So you will be able to create a Azure Cosmos DB account by creating this or you can go to the menu and then select the Azure Cosmos DB. Click create Azure Cosmos DB account. So Cosmos DB supports multiple APIs. So you can select any one of these APIs. For the demo purpose, we will select Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL. Click create. We need to create a resource group. So I'm going to create a resource group called demo RG. Then we need to give a account name, which has to be very unique. Cosmos account. Okay. And the, the location, I'm going to leave it as default. And the capacity mode, either you can select as provision throughput or the serverless. I'm going to again leave that as the default. Right. Apply free tier discount. I'll keep it as applied. And then the limit total account throughput. I'm going to select this option enabled. Click next. So here by default, it has the geo residency and the multi-region rights enabled. I'm going to disable them because it's just we are creating this CosmoDB account just for the demo purpose. So I'm going to disable them then click next networking so the connectivity method we have three options so one option is all networks from any network will be able to access this cosmo db account the next one is a public endpoint the selected networks so you'll have an option to select from which network you want to give access to this cosmo db account and the private endpoint so i will leave it as a default again then click next uh, so the backup policies we have three options either we want to do a periodic backup you can specify the backup interval backup retention and all this information or you can select continuous seven days backup or the continuous 30 days so i will leave it as the default periodic and the backup storage redundancy again this is for the demo purpose i'll select local redundant backup storage next so encryption you will be able to encrypt using the service managed key or the customer managed key so I'm going to leave it as default, but in case if you select customer managed key later, you'll not be able to switch back to the service managed key. I'm not going to specify any tags. Next. So it provides all the information on what all we have selected. We can review that and then click create. The deployment is in progress now. The Cosmos DB account has been successfully created click go to resource either we'll be able to quick start by creating an item container and then using any one of the uh, programming language download the app and execute and see we are not going to do that uh, we will go to the data explorer and create a database and container click data explorer click new container so you need to create a database so i am going to create a sample database i'm going to call it a sample db and the container i am going to create a student container right so container is here like a tables in case of sql so i'm going to create a student table and then the partition key so we need to uh, really think what is a partition key we wanted to give so here i am going to partition based on the um, department so i'll give it as department and the container throughput either you can do as an auto scale or manual so i'll just make it as manual and we will use the minimum uh, which is the 400 right and if you wanted to add any unique keys you'll be able to add right so this is primarily for the data integrity but i'm not going to add anything now and you have an option to uh, have the analytics store so i by default it is off so we will leave it like that and then click ok so the database sample db has been successfully created okay so click this here you can see the container also that's a student container then click items so items is similar to the rows in the table right so currently this is a new uh, container so it doesn't have any data click new item okay so this uh, the all these items are added as a json so it is just giving a template so the id is the default so i'm going to give the id of the student as triple one then we'll give the name for the student then we'll give age of the student okay. 
and then we will specify the department. Okay. So now click save. So we have added. So you can clearly see it has added like some system generator values also added to that particular item. Right. So if you wanted to add a new item, I can click and add a new item or I can just copy paste this click new item and replace the content and just modify the values. So I'm going to change this is 222 two, two, and change the name as the and ages 23 department as PC. Okay, so I'm going to save this. So now we have two items added here. So if you wanted to query these items, you can click here, select new SQL query, right? So this is select star from the C is for the container, right? Execute the query. It is going to show the two records, what we have created, right? One first one and the second one, right? So you'll be able to save this query also, and then you can later use this, right? Uh, so now we have created a Cosmo DB account, created a database, created a container and add items to the uh, container and query the items from the container. So let's explore some of the other features of the Cosmo DB, right? You have the replicate data globally. Since we have uh, disabled the uh, geo replication, so we are not seeing anything. We can see this is available in only one region, right? And then uh, multi-region rights also we have disabled it. Otherwise, you will be able to see the other regions from where you will be able to read it. And the consistency, uh, Cosmo DB provides five different types of consistency, strong, bounded, stateless, session, consistent per prefix and the eventual. By default is a session. So we left it as a default. But if you wanted to change, you can change. Uh, so uh, the users who all have the same session token will always get the same data. Uh, that is a session consistency the strong means you will always get the uh, so it's all the read and write you will get the same data so eventual means it's like always there will be eventually the data will become consistent right uh, so when it is consistent prefix it's like the data whatever you read it will be in the specific order in case of eventual the order may not be the same right and in case of bounded staleness there will be a lag right so lag in the consistency uh, so after the lag period, the data will become consistent. And uh, the backup and restore option you have, you will be able to change it, right? We selected the local red and backup storage, right? Uh, so there are different options available. Now we have explored some of the features of the Cosmo DB. Now let us go and see how we can delete this Cosmo DB account. Click delete account, skip feedback and you need to confirm the account name. So the account name is this. Just let's copy paste and paste it here. Click delete. The account is getting deleted. The account has been successfully deleted. Azure Cosmos DB account has been successfully deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create a Cosmos DB account and then create a database container, add items, and then query the items as well as how to delete the cosmos db account if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo